the bomb will not take its fall, not from the cabinet. Who sing their way to safety with the ballad of Reading Hall? So good to me. Hi, Artie here from Bar Mills. Welcome to Monday morning at the station, a special black and white edition as we take a uh, look at that was the week that was something that was a uh, big television show back in the 1960s and we have to look at this and go well this may have been may not have been the week that was or the month that was but it's certainly been the six months that were as here we are in June six months into the year 2020 we're going to take a look back at what we've done this year and what's coming up in the future right here on this edition of Monday morning at the station when we started this year, we started the year on January 2nd, and we had just gotten over producing the Queen City kit, which was last year's Christmas kit. And we had a new attitude January 2nd. I wanted to do something very different. I was thinking about how to revitalize not only Bar Mills, but help revitalize the building end of the hobby. And we started working on many, many kits that would be in the works. Uh, for preparation for new things. But the thing of it is in January, we were so low on stock because of the holidays that all we could do was make kits to be ready for the Springfield, Massachusetts, Massachusetts show. I'll never get that right. And that would culminate or terminate or culminate, whatever it is, at the end of January, as you can see in some of these photos. Springfield, the biggest show of the year, we had to be ready for it. And that was towards the end of January. Right at the Springfield, we were facing the short month of February. First thing we were to do was come up with the Old Dominion Broom Company and N scale, a very high end N scale kit with something a little special for the guys in that scale. We also took the time to develop something called the Deep Dive, which is a part of our website that lets you see what's in the box and would now be featured on every single kit video as new kits became available. Babcock Boiler was yet Another kit done in February, this time in HO scale, featured all the details that you'd expect, but at a very reasonable price point that was available through uh, dealers and retailers as well as through Bar Mills here directly. The whole concept of this, uh, this episode of this type of kit was to rediscover the roots that we had 20 years ago when we started Bar Mills. We wanted to form the company very much in the in the, uh, in the vein of Campbell's scale models with affordable kits that were always available, very affordably priced and loaded with detail. And this was to launch the 2020 year of bone mill scale models. February came and went, and before you know it, we were facing the month of March, and March was to be the most aggressive kit month that we've ever had in 20 years. The first thing we came out with, Jerry's small engine repair. Terrific little kit, Nature scale, that later on, in very short order, also became available for the O-Scalers. Um, we also announced in March our photo contest, which has come and gone since then. But here again, it's a way of trying to get guys to get involved in building and sharing the hobbies as much as they could. We also did something with our website where we redesigned the way it worked. The appearance changed a little bit, but the uh, the way you order kiss now was improved and uh, and it was easy to expedite kits, a little bit easier than I had been in the past. Also in March, uh, because remember it's not over yet, we did the tower at Cranberry Garden, which is an HO scale kit, with a wonderful stone base that's actually made out of resin, followed by the Noah Knotts Cordage Company. Here again, another HO scale kit. Uh, altogether, March was a four kit month, four brand new kits from Bar Mills in the, in the month of March. Very busy indeed. Then came COVID, then came shutting down the business because on April 2nd, on a Thursday, the state of Maine told us we were no longer allowed to be in production. I could come into work, but nobody else could. And I worked seven days a week filling uh, orders the best we could. Now keep in mind, we keep approximately 3,000 kits of all types in stock here at the shop. That's not to say we have everything at all times, but we did pretty good. And for the whole month of April, I was here seven days a week filling orders. But even at that, we were able to sneak out not one, but two new kits in April. Uh, one was the Springfield Station in HO scale, which was really kind of like three kits because we had the original Springfield Station called Springfield One. 
uh, a slightly different version called Springfield 2. And if you dealt with Bar Mills Direct, we had the two pack that included the bonus figure pack. So that was the double pack on Springfield. So just Springfield alone, there were three different offerings. Also, we came out with something called Ludlow Shipping, another industrial small building, great for track side use. And that was all in the month of uh, April. With April coming to an end, we found ourselves able to ramp up to our full staff potential again. And the first thing we had to do was catch up on so many of the kits that uh, we had sold out of uh, in the month of April when there was no production. Of course, we had a couple of new things up our sleeves too, including the O-scale version of the Springfield Station. We also developed some new uh, highly detailed uh, detail casting packages, both in HO scale and O scale. And we had uh, some new things coming from Woodland Scenics, most notably the chain link fence. And you'll see that on our website. Uh, in the upcoming months, we have uh, a brand new kit in HO scale that was held up for a long time because of the COVID thing. And that's the water tower at Cranberry Yard. That'll be coming up in a couple of weeks. And a couple of weeks after that, we are coming out with a brand new high end and scale kit. We don't want to go too much further past that because we don't want to tease anybody. By the way, in the future, Monday morning at the station will only run bi weekly as we head into the warmer months and more, more of you spend more time outside uh, enjoying the weather and less time maybe in your basement. So, this is already from Bar Mills. We thank you all for your patience and, and for your support. It's been absolutely terrific. Uh, please keep in touch. Look for our ads in RMC, check with us on Facebook, and of course on the Bar Mills home page. And we're going to keep rocking it and doing the best we can. Here again, thanks for your support Art from Bar Mills. Monday, Monday, so good to 